How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, my client has this cross on his right arm that he no longer likes and uh, he wants to get rid of it. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So you just got tattooed, huh? Uh, a couple weeks ago. A couple weeks. Like you're just getting blasted right now, then. Yeah. What made you want to start getting tattoos now? Oh, you know, I've wanted to for a long time. Yeah. We moved around for a little bit. Uh huh. And I finally settled down to a point where we can get some stuff done. Oh, and you were like, I'm ready. Yeah. I got a couple. We came from Montana. Uh -huh. That's where this one came from. Oh. I got a couple more here uh -huh. when I was way younger. But uh, oh. I wanted to fill up the arms. And like I said, when I finally got here, right uh -huh. here. Yeah, right there. Was this a spontaneous tattoo as well? It kind of was and kind of wasn't. My, my cousin went and got her first one. So uh -huh. I kind of rolled with her. Oh. Told her we'd get one together. Uh huh. So I guess, yeah, it was more, more or less spontaneous. How old is it? How old is that tattoo? Gosh, that one's... 20 years? Uh, 20 years. Yeah. Wow. It's like, it's, it's time. It's time. It's, yeah, it's been time. Have you tried to get it covered up in the past by somebody else? No. No? This is, you just <laughs> I started with my right arm because uh -huh. I didn't really have anything on it. Uh -huh. I mean, I did, but I had something I didn't want to remove, so they kind of oh. worked around it. This was kind of the secondary one, so I was working my way that way. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Well, when I came here and was working with Jesse and I was uh -huh. working on a piece, I was like, that's, that's the guy. That's awesome. If I'm going to get something covered, we're going we're gonna <laughs> to hit him up until he says yes. You manifested it. Damn. I tried a couple times. and. Oh, yeah? Through email? Yeah. Oh, I guess intense in there. I, I know. Bet. I mean, the ink looks pretty, pretty faded, so that's good. Still pretty solid. Uh, not as dark as I imagined. I thought it was going to be darker in person. Yeah, because I was like, pictures never tell you, you know, exactly. never tell you the truth. They're very deceiving, especially on Instagram. Yeah, and I was like, oh, it, I can do it. I was like, with the right concept. <laughs> so this is what we're going to be doing today. He has the cross in the middle of his arm. Um, and he got it done about 20 years ago. So that means that the ink is going to be very weak and it's going to make the process a lot easier. And when I mean easier, you still have to have knowledge in it. You still have to be able to have uh, experience with that uh, cover-ups and be able to choose the right image as well. Because if you don't have the right concept to cover this up, it is not gonna work. Um, but the process it is gonna be really easy. It's not gonna give me any problems. I seen worse for sure, <laughs> for sure. Shout out to Alfonso. <laughs> he did uh, Thanos, Thanos or Thanos? Thanos, why? Why is it pronounced Thanos? <laughs> because I mean, in you know, A, 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 B, C, Thanos. Unless somebody like in Spanish wrote it, <laughs> it's like let's call it Thanos, and somebody's like, well, it has T H, so let's call it Thanos. Yeah, <laughs> and then in Spanish, because you don't pronounce the H, so it's pronounced Thanos. <laughs> it makes no sense. Perfect. I'm gonna have you relax your arm. Oof, yeah. what a stencil, what a stencil. Look at that. Oh, man. All right, let me see, relax your arm. Oh, that placement is crazy. Yep. I'm gonna have you check it out on that mirror. Make sure you like the placement. Cause what if I like it, but you don't? <laughs> oh no, that's, that's the one. That's the one. That's it. 
Let's do it. So I went ahead and basically did the whole entire jacket, but I do want to spend time uh, explaining how I'm going to do the mask. There's a lot of tones, a lot of um, texture. It's constantly changing tone, so I feel like it's a good spot to kind of uh, stop and kind of uh, take you guys through my thought process on how I'm doing that. So I'm going to start right here on this area and with my solid black first. And with the solid black, I'm gonna make sure that the, the end of the mask is super sharp. So go in super sharp. That way, kind of like, um, that way I can separate where the neck is and the mask. I'm using a 14 round liner, running my machine at 5.0 like always. After using my solid black, I'm gonna slowly start dipping it in, in my medium gray. So now I'm gonna dip it once on my medium gray.
without cleaning the needle from black to medium. Dipped it again on my medium gray just once and it's slowly gonna start changing the tones. Now I'm gonna dip it now on my lightest gray once. Perfect, see how the tones now are changing. They're, um, the consistency from dark to light uh, is very, very good right now. And that is because I'm slowly dipping it from my black to my medium to my light, slowly transitioning. Now I'm going back to my medium gray. Now stepping back, I do feel like I need a little bit more black on this corner here. So I'm gonna go back at it just one more time to make sure that I'm not overworking the skin. So this is the last layer I'm gonna be adding. Perfect. And there you go. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to do the same exact process throughout the whole entire mask. And yeah, when I first, uh, when I first started recording all my, my tattoos, I've always felt so awkward. You know what I mean? Just kind of like, hey guys, like talking to an imaginary right. person in front of me. Right. <laughs> but then after a while, I got used to it. Takes time. Yeah, I can't imagine, like, like for you, you know what I mean? It's your first time, it's kind of like a, you know, like, oh, damn, I'm getting recorded, you know? Oh, it's cool. <laughs> it's, cool. It's, not, it's not an ordinary day. It's awesome. For this, it shouldn't be, right? It shouldn't be. It's supposed to be a unique day today. Yeah, exactly.
All right, quick little update. So what I'm gonna do is work on the head on this area here. And my approach is gonna be by making it as black as I can right on that edge of that head to give it that high contrast and blend it out towards the eyebrow. Then um, after that, I'm gonna explain what background I'm choosing to use that way it doesn't get lost with the head and the background and it has a nice uh, separation between the head and the background. So uh, as in right now, I'm just gonna do a quick time lapse of me blacking out the back of the head here and blending it um, towards the, the eyebrow. Let's do it. Your pain tolerance is crazy. Oh, I tapped out with Gabe, so don't say that too loud. <laughs> you tapped out with Gabe? I did. <laughs> he tapped out with you, Gabe? Yeah. Man. Yep. Yeah. Look, I'm just saying, I went in hard today. Hey, bro, listen. I'm, hey, I don't know, my guy. Look, <laughs> I'm just going to say, he didn't tap out with me. Or Jesse. Or Fonzie. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> now, here we go. Let's finish this. Like, it wasn't bothering you as much as you thought. Right? No. <laughs> I just know it wasn't the route I wanted to go. Mm -hmm. But way back when I got it, I didn't expect to fill it up either, so. Mm. Oh, damn, that's true. So you didn't have plans for that either? No. Oh. What was the most painful part? Oh, that, probably the last part you did. Back oh, the, the, the tricep, huh? Right on that. Oof. Damn! <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> That's crazy. God damn. Sheesh, let's go. Oh, man. Good Thank you. Bro, this is my favorite part right here. Dude, all that smoothness. Let's take pictures. Let's go. <laughs> See you guys next week, and if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.